Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on the ternary operator. I'll go ahead and pull up my website here, javacjava.com. Click on the begin button. Scroll, out, scroll down through the tutorials until we get to the ternary operator. So, and the conditional ternary operator is used to assign a value to a variable based on the result of a conditional test. The result of the conditional test must equal true or false. Surrounding the conditional test with parentheses is optional. However, doing so will improve readability. A complete ternary statement must have three punctuation marks, equals, question mark, and a colon. To use the ternary operator statement, you will need to understand the following structure. Basically, you're going to have your variable, your assignment operator, then you'll have your conditional test that must result in either true or false. Then you'll have your question marks, so if the result of the test is true, then you'll assign the variable, assign the value that's um, in between the question mark and the colon to this, to this variable. Otherwise, if it's false, you'll assign the value that's after the colon and before the um, semicolon into the variable. Okay, let's take a look at uh, some, just a quick example. So I've initialized a string called to hot out to an empty, empty value there, and I'm initializing temperature to 101 int data type. So to hot out, right? That's the variable we're going to assign something to. So to hot out, our assignment operator, and here is our, our conditional test or expression, if you will. And so if the temperature is greater than 87, which it is, 101 is greater than 87, that's true. We come over here to our question mark, and then we go ahead and assign the value that's in between the question mark and the colon to the variable here, right? Now, if this expression had evaluated to false, we'd go ahead and assign the string literal that we've got right here. I'm going for a walk in between the colon, the string literal in between the colon and the semicolon, then we'd assign that there, okay? So, um, because this evaluates to true, we go ahead and assign this string literal value to to hot out, and that's what we, we display to the console here using the print line method. I'm going to stay inside today. Now the same thing can be accomplished with a simple if statement, right? We've got our same variable um, initialization and declarations and assignments up here. And then if temperature is greater than 87, that's true, then we say to hot out equals I am staying inside today else to hot as I'm going for walk. So um, calling the print line method and passing it to hot out, basically we'll have it display I am staying inside today. So in a single line you can accomplish, or a single line, I should say a single statement, lines have nothing to do with it. In a single statement you can accomplish the same thing as this whole entire if statement down here. 201, one or the other, you know, some people think this is more readable, some people like this. But if you do see the syntax, you're definitely going to want to know exactly what this means, because syntax for this can be a little confusing at first. So, but basically think of the ternary, the ternary statement as a shorthand for the if statement in certain circumstances. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here. We'll highlight this, hit Control c to copy, or right-click and select copy. Let's move the browser off screen. Go back to start, search, type in CMD. First thing you're going to want to do, uh, oh yeah, and if you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to start run and type in CMD. And now that we've got the command prompt open, go ahead and type in Java C and you should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll down. If you don't, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before running these tutorials. Okay, we'll type in CLS, which will clear the screen, then CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. Let's type in MD Java, MD is make directory, and Java is the name of the folder we want to create. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. And let's see, I'm going to just call this one uh, ternary operator. <coughs> and then notepad. Ternary operator dot Java. Okay, ternary operator dot Java is the name of our source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Must end in the dot Java extension. Okay. Um, 
We've got our class declaration, ternary operator, and our public static void main, our main method entry point here. Um, we've got exactly what we talked about right up here. That'll just, ex or earlier in the tutorial, that'll just print that out there so you can see how that works. And then I've got another example in here. So, uh, yeah, I'm a customer of Acme Bank and they charge a 10% monthly service fee on balances below $100. So let's go ahead and calculate the fee, if any, right? So uh, initializing a couple of variables here, uh, balance equal to $52.50 and fee equal to um, uh, zero. I'm just initializing it as a zero double data type there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the ternary operator and a ternary statement here per se to go ahead and uh, figure out whether you know the balance is, is whether we need to charge a fee on the balance so fee and then our assignment operator and then we're going to test to see if balance is greater than or equal to a hundred right um, here is our question mark and if that's true we're going to assign zero which it's not so the false is going to go through so we're going to execute the stuff that's after the colon and before the semicolon. So balance times 0.1D, which is 10%, right? Now the parentheses are optional, but um, highly recommended. Let me show you what this looks like without the parentheses. It just kind of just looks terrible if you ask me. And I'll just take this comment out here. Okay, so that's what it looks like without the parentheses. And talk about, holy crap, that's confusing. That's just, that's crazy. So I always put in the parentheses. I recommend it. You know, if I see stuff like this, I'm like going, what on earth is this? You know, oh yeah, okay, that's, they're, they're using the, the ternary, operator, ternary operator and a ternary, ternary statement there. Boy, say that three times in a row. I get you all tongue twisted. Okay, so anyway, so that's, that's basically my point on the, the parentheses being optional there. I'll just go ahead and comment that out and leave that in there so you can just see how you want to admire how messy that looks without the parentheses there. So, And then we'll go ahead and print your monthly service fee and then the calculation based on the ternary statement. So let's go ahead and save this out here. <coughs> Clear our screen, type in Java C, and then ternary operator.java, name of our source code file that we want to compile, and then Java ternary operator, let's strip off that DOS class. We're invoking the ternary operator class here. So I'm staying inside today. We expect fully unexpected that for this particular uh, statement up here. And your monthly service fee is $5.25. So that would be 10% uh, of $52.50. So all that worked out great. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. And leave you just with a quick final thought here. So the ternary operator is basically shorthand for a common use of the if-else statement. The syntax may look a little strange at first, but you'll definitely want to understand how the, you know, the question mark, the, uh, sorry, the equals, the question mark, and the colon all work together. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.